Welcome to the Dalhousie Library's online tutorial series. Part 2 of the CINAHL tutorial will look at refining the search from Part 1. We will supplement our subject headings with keywords, combine concepts using operators, and narrow our results using limits. In Part 1, our research question concerns swimming as a way to treat osteoarthritis in females. The search history shows that we have already translated two concepts into subject headings, osteoarthritis and swimming. We will broaden these concepts by supplementing our subject headings with keywords. Let's take a moment to brainstorm some synonyms for our terms. Think about what you know about your topic, and don't be afraid to check elsewhere online to find other synonyms. Remember that your CINAHL heading may have also had a scope note, and then you can pull keywords from that. In our case, synonyms for osteoarthritis include degenerative joint, and we can also include other words that are variations of our term. To capture these variations, we will include the keyword osteoarthrit asterisk, as the asterisk will replace different word endings to retrieve results with the words osteoarthritis as well as osteoarthritic. We will also take our degenerative joint synonym and add an asterisk on the end in case some results mention degenerative joints. For our swimming concept, let's include swim asterisk along with aqua asterisk. Now let's take our keywords to our search box. We can enter them manually in the same box, separating them with the Boolean operator OR because they're synonyms for the same term. So let's start with degenerative joint, asterisk, using quotations to search it as a phrase. Then OR that with osteoarthrit asterisk. Now click search. To add your subject headings for osteoarthritis in with your keywords for the same term, Let's go into our search history, found under the search boxes. Before we combine terms, press clear so you don't run into mistakes when combining. Then, click the checkbox beside your osteoarthritis subject heading and click the checkbox beside your recent keyword string for osteoarthritis. Now click search with OR. You now have a full search string for your osteoarthritis concept, complete with keywords and your subject heading. We can now repeat the process for our second term, swimming, by entering swim asterisk or aqua asterisk in our search box and clicking search. Then in the search history, press clear, then click the box beside the subject heading for swimming and your recent keyword search for swim. Click search with or to create your final search string for swimming. Now that we've developed a good mixture of subject headings and keywords to represent our search concepts, we can start combining these terms. If we want to narrow our results, we can combine terms with AND to only find articles in which the selected terms appear together. We're looking for articles where our two concepts overlap, so let's press clear first, then combine our last two search strings. Check the box beside your complete search string for the osteoarthritis concept and the box beside your completed search string for the swimming concept. Now click search with AND. Our results show up in the search history as the most recent search. Now we can start looking at titles to see if we are on the right track. Once you decide that the results look useful, you can look at filters to help make them even more relevant. Applying search limits is an effective way of eliminating irrelevant results, and you can find some of CINAHL's limits listed down the left side of the page. Clicking show more will display all available limits. Useful limits include publication date, language, and source types. To complete our search, we are interested in gender. Click gender, then female. Now we have fewer results because we have filtered them out to focus on those discussing female patients. Adding limits creates a new note in our search history. The limits currently applied to our search are listed under search options. If you want to remove a limit from the search, simply click the X beside the limit on the left side of the page. Now it's time to look through our results. Hovering the cursor over the magnifying glass icon will show you the brief record and potentially an abstract. Clicking on the title will take you to the detailed record. If you would like to leave the detailed record view and go back to your results, be sure to click the result list button instead of hitting back in your internet browser. Here you'll find information about authors, source, publication type, and more. You'll also notice the subject headings that have been assigned to this article. 
we've highlighted our search terms in yellow. You can also click on the yellow Get It at Dal button to search Dalhousie's library catalog to see if we have access to a full text version of the article, either in print or electronically. You can also print, save, or cite the record, or export it to a reference management software. Saving your results to a personalized folder is an excellent way to stay organized, and when you find a relevant article, click the Add to Folder icon to save your results to your temporary session folder. To create a more permanent folder for your results, use the My EBSCO Host feature and sign in or create a free account. Thanks for watching! For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.